trust me when I say this is about to get weird. So the popular uh, art YouTuber Jazza has challenged everyone to redraw his childhood art. Also giving away three like thousand dollar drawing tablets. I'm not even worried about that. Needless to say, I'm just doing it for fun. Yeah, I just want to use my imagination and see if I can come up with something really weird. So these are the three options that he gave for people to use. And uh, there's there's a lot to work with here. But it, it has to be the guy in the middle, right? I mean, come on, look at this guy. It's like a secret agent octopus alien dude. Cool, so uh, I decided to do this digitally. Uh, there was not a lot of time when I started, I actually left. And so I jumped into Illustrator and just started making vector pieces that I could work with in Photoshop. So essentially I traced every shape I could see, things that I thought I could use. I tried to stay also very true to the original proportions and image. So as usual, this took a lot longer than I expected and I'm not going to show every single piece that I drew here because it took hours and hours. I think I think I did just fine. I, mean, I didn't end up using all the pieces that I created, uh, but it gave me a lot of stuff to work with as I started getting into the, the Photoshop portion of this exercise. Yeah, so then I brought all the pieces into Photoshop, uh, just pasted them in as smart objects and had to align them to their correct positions and that took not very long and here's how everything looked at that point cool all right on to the fun stuff so i started by just applying a color overlay gradient on the vector shape of the head and just playing with the lighting effects until i got something that had a little bit of dimension and i felt pretty good about that uh, i brought in this octopus for texture um, i was going to do something different for the face but then i thought about the tentacles and i thought well maybe i should just match the face to what i think the tentacles are going to be I had to Google how to get the warp tool to work to get the texture to fit the shape correctly. So I played around with a few different ideas for the hair. Um, that would have been fun. But I ended up trying to accentuate the shapes that were already existing, these little facets. Um, it it kind of looks like a little mountain or something, but um, yeah, I, I was happy with the approach I took with the hair. All right, so jumping ahead a little bit, this is kind of how the head started to shape up, and I was, I was pretty happy with it at this point. It's just so weird. So using the same technique I used for the head, I moved on to the tentacles and basically just threw in a photo with some octopus texture, warped it to fit the shapes a little bit better, added a little purple gradient to match the head, and played around with the colors a little bit, and uh, yeah, then we're good to go. All right, so the head looks like this. Throw in a little bling. I think it's time to start working on the jacket. So I took the vector shape and started messing around with some gradients and solid colors first. So I pretty quickly decided that uh, this guy needed a fancier jacket. So we went with more of a disco style, uh, mirror reflective, members only, 80s, 90s, you know, whatever. But what kind of shirt should he have? Hmm, <laughs> I know. We'll just do chest hair. I told y'all it was gonna get weird. Did y'all notice that he had a forked tongue in the original drawing? Cool. All right, let's throw that in there. Tentacle time. All right, let's finish out his wardrobe here. I think he should be wearing jeans and some nice boots, like Saturday Night Fever. Don't forget the back boots. What is this? What is this? It looks like this dagger stabbing the earth with maybe some like earth juice coming out. We're gonna make it a patch. Time for some accessories. I love the variety this guy has in his weaponry. I mean, first off, you can't go wrong with a space gun, right? So naturally, after the ray gun, we're going to move on to a medieval axe with a little bit of blood. I, I like how the weapons are downgrading from the ray gun at the top to the axe, and then last on the side, there's a hammer. It's got more awesomeness on this side. Little dagger action. What you going to do with that match? Of course he's been doing some graffiti, so there's a spray can, got his little name on it. It's dark in here, so I guess he needs some light. So this is definitely a guy you wouldn't want to meet in a dark alley, but I think I'm going to put him in a dark alley. Anybody notice that writing that was kind of showing up behind that dude? I think we're going to turn that into some graffiti, what do you think? Yep, that works. What can I do with these holes in the paper? I think I'll go with bullet holes makes no sense at all that's all right let's add a little smoke 
looks pretty cool. This guy has to be firing this space weapon. I think we'll add sort of an energy ray beam or something coming out of it. Oh yeah. I feel like there's still something missing. Let's look at the original drawing. Hmm. Doink. <laughs> it's perfect. So I ended up having to rush this at the end, and I think if I had to do it over, I probably would actually draw it and not do it inside of just Photoshop, but it's pretty fun. It turned out pretty cool. There's some really great ones out there too. If you just go onto Twitter and search redraw jazz art hashtag, you'll find all the stuff that was submitted. All right, I'm out of here. Let me know if you like this kind of stuff. I'll probably do some more of this in the future. Uh, it was a really fun exercise. I encourage anyone to do this if they like to goof around and try to come up with strange, weird stuff. Till next time, peace.